What if I told you the government is about to spend a thousand crores on a machine that doesn't actually work? Not just one machine, they are planning 150 of them right here in Delhi in this park. Why? To create a clean air zone, a safe bubble where the air is breathable even when the rest of Delhi is gasping. It sounds futuristic, innovative, even hopeful. But here's the thing, we've tried this before. And guess what? It failed in Connaught Place, it failed in Anand Bihar, and other cities, Mumbai, Kolkata, pulled the plug before they made the same mistake. So why is Delhi doing it again? The Delhi government says it will study whether these machines can create a microclimate, a pocket of fresh air in a city choking on its own breath. But what if this clean air zone is just a clean lie? I'm your host, Labanya, and in this episode of The Climate Brief, we are digging into the story of a city gasping for air and the dangerous illusion being sold as a solution. So what are these machines exactly? You've probably seen them before. Those giant structures in Connaught Place or Anand Vihar. They are called smog towers. A regular air purifier works indoors, in a closed room. It pulls in dirty air, runs it through filters and pushes out clean air. And the filter doing the heavy lifting? It's called a HEPA filter. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air. It's a super fine mesh that traps microscopic pollutants like dust, pollen, smoke, even PM2.5, the kind that gets deep into your lungs. It works because the room is sealed. The air stays put. It gets time to clean and recirculate it. But now picture this. You take the same machine, remove the walls, place it in the middle of a public park and expect it to clean the open sky. That is a smog tower. A 24-meter tall structure, dozens of fans, thousands of filters designed to scrub pollution from the air around it. In theory, it's brilliant. But here's what most people forget. This isn't a sealed room. It's Delhi, an open, living, breathing city. Just wind and endless pollution. So while the machine can clean air, the moment it does, that clean air mixes with the bad air all over again. Now, to understand how Delhi ended up chasing air purifiers instead of real solutions, you have to see what happened when the first tower went up five years ago. In 2019, Delhi's air hit rock bottom. Hospitals were full, visibility dropped. The then Delhi government proposed to install a smog tower at Connaught Place. The Supreme Court accepted the proposal while also ordering a smog tower to be installed in Anand Vihar as pointed out by Central Pollution Control Board. Fast forward to August 2021. The first smog tower was installed at Connaught Place. And the next month, another one was inaugurated at Anand Vihar. Each tower stood 24 meters tall, built at a cost of about 25 crore rupees each and needing about rupees 15 lakhs per month to operate. Officials claimed the tower could cut pollution by up to 70% within a 50 meter radius and 15 to 20 percent, up to 300 meters. But two years later, something awkward happened. The science came in. IIT Bombay, tasked with assessing the Connaught Place Tower, found this. The smog tower in Connaught Place reduced air pollution by 48 to 56 percent within a 20 meter radius, 30 to 34 percent between 21 and 99 meters, 12 to 13 percent between 100 and 199 meters and around 16 percent between 300 and 500 meters. Beyond that, the impact dropped off sharply. Virtually no effect on the city's overall air quality. Delhi's own pollution control committee eventually admitted it. The towers were ineffective. They cost too much and made no measurable difference to the city's air quality. If you really wanted to scale this across Delhi, you would need over 47,000 smog towers at a cost of 12 lakh crore rupees. Plus 7,500 crore rupees every month just to keep them running. That's more than India's entire health budget. So what did the DPCC recommend? Their report said these towers should be turned into museums to disseminate technical information about air pollution control. 
After that, Mumbai pulled its plans, Kolkata followed, cities across India saw Delhi's results and walked away. But Delhi? Delhi is deciding to try again. This time with 159 foot tall machines across 85 acres in Nehru Park, with a thousand crore rupees on the line to create a so called clean air zone. Is this a pivot, a rebrand, or just a distraction? Because the truth is, no machine, no matter how powerful, can clean the sky. Not when the real pollution is coming from our roads, our buildings, our fields, our fires. And if we don't talk about those, no tower will save us. The real problem isn't that smog towers failed. The real problem is why we built them in the first place. Because let's be honest, nobody really believed two towers could clean an entire city's air. Delhi's air crisis isn't caused by one thing. It's a cocktail of vehicles, industry, construction, road, dust, waste burning and crop residue fires. So what we need in Delhi is to tackle these sources. Upgrade public transport, pushing for electric buses and EV adoption, expanding CNG networks, sweeping roads to remove road dust, segregating and processing waste instead of burning it, Reducing industrial emissions, reducing our dependence on coal for power, and making sure our buildings stop choking the streets with dust. And the good news? Some of these fixes are already happening. Let's take a look. Cleaner transport. Delhi's push for electric buses is a step forward. As of 2024, over 1,650 e-buses are on Delhi's roads. EV incentives. Delhi is constantly subsidizing electric vehicles, aiming to have one in four new vehicles registered as electric. Dust control, vacuum sweepers, water sprinklers, proper pavement, these basics reduce particulate concentration by up to 30% when done consistently. Cleaner industry, converting NCR factories to piped natural gas instead of coal or furnace oil can cut CO2 emissions by over 50%. Crop burning alternatives. Delhi has joined hands with Punjab to use tools like Happy Seeders and Pusa Biodecomposers to help farmers manage stubble without fire. They are real solutions, already working in parts of Delhi and beyond. They just need scale, funding and political will. Imagine if that thousand crore rupees wasn't spent on towers but on solar roofs, better public transport, electric two-wheelers for delivery fleets or giving every farmer in the NCR and surrounding area a biodecomposer kit. Wouldn't that clean more air? Because what we need is real solutions that address the root causes to give us a better long-term future and not band-aids that will hardly take us through to the next day. If this story made you think twice about what clean air really takes, like the video and share it. Subscribe to The Climate Brief for more deep dives like this. Stories that cut through the smoke and bring clarity to the climate conversation. We will see you next week.